Volkswagen plans to lay off tens of thousands of workers and close at least three of its factories in Germany, according to the car makers Works Council chief. The move comes as Volkswagen aims to shrink its operations in Europe amidst rising energy and labor costs and increasing competition from Asia. Volkswagen plans to lay off tens of thousands of workers and close at least three factories in Germany. That's according to the carmaker's Works Council head Monday. They further said the German auto giant wants to shrink its remaining plants in Europe's biggest economy. Carsten Buchling is VW Kassel Plant Works Council head. And unfortunately, we had to announce that the board intends to close at least three sites, carry out mass redundancies for all other sites and reduce the number of products. And for all other employees who are still allowed to work for Volkswagen, their pay will be massively cut. The board of management is planning a pay cut of 10% immediately and permanently. Europe's biggest car maker has negotiated with unions for weeks on plans to revamp its business and cut costs. It includes potential plant closures in Germany for the first time, and the news fell hard on the workforce. Britta Jon has been with VW since 1997. These are very drastic cuts and they obviously cause fear. We have to see how we can feed our families and what's next for this region, since this has personal consequences, but also for the region, and in fact for Germany. Works Council head Daniela Cavallo said management is absolutely serious. She added it is not sabre-rattling as part of a collective bargaining round. The comments mark a major escalation of a conflict between VW's workers and the group's management. VW is under severe pressure from high energy and labour costs and Asian competition. It also faces weaker demand in Europe and China and a slower than expected electric transition. VW said in a statement it would make proposals for how to cut labour costs on Wednesday. It's the same day workers and management meet for the second round of wage talks and the carmaker releases third quarter results. The automaker said it was still committed to finding solutions for the situation jointly with Labour representatives.